Hi, I'm Dr. Frank Milner from St. Paul, Minnesota. I am a clinician, educator, publisher, and um, I'm very excited to talk to you about Vocal America products. Um, I'm doing a live patient demonstration and corporate workshops using Vocal Ameris composites. It's a very interesting system. Um, statistics are showing from corporate America that most clinicians are interested in easy handling composites, and uh, this system certainly does uh, embrace that concept. The other thing that I think is very appealing to clinicians across the country and internationally is this is a very easy system to understand, very easy to create very complex uh, restorations with little stress. A lot of the composite systems that I can teach are multiple shades, multiple opacities, 24 shades, up to 32 shades with tints and opaques. The Vocal Ameris system, as you can see right here in the box, is a very easy to understand system. It's a very easy correctable system as you build it. It has eight shades, has five opaque dentin shades, three translucent shades, and very interesting, it has two um, flowable uh, components, a very translucent and a very opaque. Now, the reason I like this system, it's value-based. That most of the systems out there are, are correlated into the Beta Classic system. This one is not for a good reason because most of the human shades are in the A Denton range and you don't need the nomenclature of the Vitas. What you can do is just categorize this opaque one, two, three, four, and five, and the optical distance between each respective opaque shade is a optical distance of three delta E or more, so they're very easy to see different colors within the system. Now, this system is interesting because they come in these uh, easy to dispense uh, syringes, if you like, they have compules, and the other thing that's very appealing, they have the actual shade guides themselves. So if you want to preview these in the mouth with your staff, train your assistant to understand this, is that you can see the, the optical uh, characteristics between the opaque one, two, three, four, and five, and then you see what the translucent shades have, and then they have the flowable shades as well as the analogs. What I think is a very easy thing to understand is that after you do your adhesive protocols, you pick your best opaque shade for the base of the preparation. And whether it's opaque one, opaque two, opaque three, you layer this up to the dentin enamel junction and then you take a look at it and see if you like what you see. Does, is the color compatible with what you feel will be the enamel layer? If it's the same, if you like what you see, then what you would do is put a translucent neutral enamel shade on top and light cure it, and what you see is what you get. It's so easy to understand. If you want to vary the enamel and change the value of it, you can change it into a lighter, higher value translucent light to correct it, or you can tone it down and lower the value a little bit by using translucent dark. This takes a matter of seconds, and it's so easy to understand. It's, it's almost too easy for us as clinicians to teach this. For instance, if I was gonna take some of this material and put it into this little plastic type dot model, just take a plastic instrument. Any plastic doesn't even have to be a metallic instrument, is that you get automatically a feel for the material right here. It just stays where you want it. It's very quiet, easy handling, very interesting material. And if you like what you see, then what you would do then is take some translucent material out, and then you just put the enamel system, whether you like to use your finger, makes no difference, it doesn't stick. And then you see the duality, you see two different shades. It's so the optical characteristics are easy to understand. Not only that, it's easy to polish. I feel that clinicians should take a look at this because I know the direction of corporate America is going from multiple shades, multiple opacities into simplistic systems. Vocal America was, I feel, one of the first ones to address this. You take a look at the added value into this, you have a highly translucent and a highly opaque flowable composite. Why would you need this? If you want simulated translucency, you can take a look at the highly translucent flowable composite on the substructure. You can put this on the incisal edge to let more light through your restoration. Then put your, your enamel shades on the top. This gives you depth of color. This is very interesting. Why would you use a flowable opaque? 
Well, you get into class five situations and there's high chroma, low value. Um, we've all seen this as clinicians. Sometimes after you put your Fortura Bond uh, uh, adhesive resin, dentin bonding resin, then maybe you can put a little bit of flow. But these are value-based, a delta E of three or better. So you can see the color differentiation between the O1, the O2, O3, O4, and O5. You don't need Vita nomenclature for this. This does it all for you. This is a totally inclusive system. This should address about 90%. 90% of your basic clinical needs in your practice today. And I hope to see you in one of my courses in the near future. Thank you.